Hi everyone, thank you for your introduction and many thanks to the Chaos team for inviting me to present in front of this community. Okay. Today I'm gonna show you the container side and the inner side, an ArcVS workflow using SketchUp and V-Ray. Also, I think you'll appreciate two examples extracted from the masterclass I created. The first one is the visualization of an office building in a urban area. And the next one is an interior design project. Both the examples are created in SketchUp and uh, rendered with V-Ray. Okay, let's get started. Since I founded 3D Graphic Academy many years ago, I noticed that uh, a common mistake of an ArcVS beginner is to pay attention to the subject and not to the surrounding. I used this picture of Jeffrey Zoon, a photographer, in an ironically way to explain to you that often the rendering of a beginner is like this image, a super detailed subject in a non-detailed surrounding, probably added in Photoshop, like the birds. So romantic. I don't hate the birds, but I think there are more birds in the ArcVid universe than in real life. <laughs> Other times, the render is uh, just an architecture in the void, but with funny clouds in the sky. So I decided to explain to my student that uh, a project is uh, like this picture. It is composed by a container side and by an inner side. And you have to pay attention in modeling and rendering both sides. As a matter of fact, firstly, we need to create, model and render the container side that in this case is the surrounding and in a separate file we will model and render the inner side, the architecture. This way our work can be more fast and accurate. Once we made the two separate sides, we'll put them together and start to shoot like a photographer. Um, a very simple exercise that I usually assign to my student as, uh, the, at the master class is uh, Bellezza del Surreale and uh, in English the beauty of surreal. And uh, it consists in rendering a super simple room but at the same time detailed in modeling and materials. Often a SketchUp user does not pay the same attention to the little detail in modeling like a 3ds Max user. So I need to teach the right way in modeling and the right way in texturing and rendering a simple room. Once the room is completed, I invite the students to choose one of the 3D objects from our gallery or from Chaos Cosmos and put it into the room, like the inner side, trying to do something surreal. This little exercise demonstrates to the student that if both the container side and the inner side of your image are well done and realistic, then all the image will be realistic or in this case surreal. Let me show you some example. There's uh, something creepy, something uh, artistic, something gold and something very Italian, very Italian. something like just Jeff Koons. And something surreal. Okay. It was a fun exercise. So I'm gonna show you something more serious. It is an example excerpt from Masterclass, the office building. And it refers to the container side the urban area. Here you can see the work in progress images and uh, as you can notice the building is not detailed. It is completely white like a maquette. 
That's why we have to pay our attention to the surrounding, as I said before. There is a lot of noise, imperfection in a urban context. And we have to focus on modeling the site and populating it with buildings, 3D assets and more to achieve a realistic result. Now I show you the SketchUp model. Here's the SketchUp model. As you can see the office building is on a hill and the street is uh, not a regular street, uh, it's an irregular one and it is modeled with uh, a sandbox in, um, a, in a SketchUp. Uh, the other elements, uh, just like the old wall, is uh, uh, modeled with the Artisan, the plugin. That I suggest you to model these uh, um, irregular, irregular parts. I show you the geometry. Okay. And the sidewalk, the sidewalk was modeled with the, the <coughs> curvy loft, this one, curvy loft plugin, because it generates quad faces, just like Artisan also. But when you use the quad faces, you can use through paint, another plugin, this one, that can distort the texture and uh, you can apply the texture and the texture, if you add a geometry with the quads, uh, can follow the sidewalk, okay? It is, uh, it is uh, super fast and uh, it has a good, good result. Now I show you another trick that I use. Uh, this is uh, the zebra crossing. Zebra crossing is um, a copy of a um, a portion of the area of the street. Here you are. Okay, and uh, it is uh, put just a little bit uh, uh, below the street. Uh, you can see it in the SketchUp model. You can see it only in the render because uh, I apply uh, it uh, the displacement tool of the array, and uh, so they pop out from uh, the street uh, in, uh, in the final rendering, just uh, uh, like in the, uh, re in the reality, they have a little thickness. The buildings, uh, the buildings are only um, um, a simple and low poly uh, modeling from the picture, the picture of the front of the building, okay? Uh, they are very simple, just like uh, modeling, but uh, they do their job. Let me show you in the array. When you are not so near, they, they do their job. I think uh, it's a good technique uh, to use a very light geometry with uh, a big result. During the modeling and the basic rendering of the um, a container side of, of my urban area, I use the uh, real-time uh, V-Ray render mode uh, set it with the CUDA. With CUDA, with both uh, CPU, CPU and uh, CPU, uh, I have a uh, NVIDIA uh, 36 and a Threadripper by AMD which is very fast mode and uh, try uh, and try and I can try all my view in uh, this mode in, in, in a very fast way. Okay, this is the container side. Let's go to see the inner side. Here's the sketch model of the inner side, the office building. And uh, this is very important in the, the workflow because as you can see uh, in the in this model, we have only the building. This is a basic scene with the three dome light, which I switch uh, uh, from the other to another one. And I use it because uh, if I switch to V-Ray, you can see that the, uh, the V-Ray mode real time is super, super fast. I also can model and render in real time with V-Ray and not Vision or Vantage. 
this is V ray, okay? And I can use my material, I can uh, uh, model it, I can, uh, I can use it in a very, very, very super fast way and a very feedback. These material are uh, not, not uh, uh, simple, uh, many of them are, here are, this is, are many texture and many shader on the reflection, glossiness and, uh, and uh, dirt, dirt channel, just this, round edges, this is our, this is, is the round, the V-ray round edges, you can see here, the round and here the round, but in uh, SketchUp uh, you don't have the round edges, okay? This is not simple material, but as you can see, if, uh, in, the, <coughs> in the model there is only the building. And if you have only the building and the other, the surrounding is only an HDR uh, providing the right lightning uh, just uh, to try the material texture and, uh, and uh, to model your shin, you are very, very fast. And this is the core, this is the core of the workflow. In uh, this mode, you can uh, um, uh, be more detailed and uh, you can be more accurate because you have a very fast uh, uh, feedback with V-Ray and not a ray tracer or uh, a, another rendering mode with V-Ray in your scene during your modeling and uh, during setting your project. In this mode also the displacement uh, is super fast. You can see the, the displacement of the pebbles uh, is, is, is really in real time. Okay. <laughs> and once you complete the, the inner side, once you complete the inner side, you put together the container side and the inner side. So here are the final results. This is a detail of the zebra crossing. I just play with the atmosphere with the another HDR. And I also played with the buildings around. <laughs> so let me introduce the other example where I use this workload the interior design. Let's go to the SketchUp model. Um, as you can imagine, the SketchUp model is the first layer of the container side. And the container side uh, for the interior design must be very detailed with the smoothed angles in all the model because the distance uh, are shorter than in the urban uh, surrounding and the detail are um, are much much important are more more important okay this is an example of the of the model and uh, and a little trick is uh, that uh, I used to uh, to repeat um, the the similar part to copy one to another one and uh, also in this case you can see the texture here but with the with the the V-Ray randomizer, the new V-Ray randomizer in the render, they will appear all different. So I can go very very fast when I texture and modeling. Once I finish to model the interior project, I render the the container side without the the inner side. And uh, so you can see the, the rooms, here's the bath, 
the dressing room and uh, this is the bedroom studio and the living room and the kitchen here's the inner side of the living room with the furniture and the in this sketchup model there is only the furniture and nothing else in a similar way to the office building uh, scene we have only a, a dome light in, as a matter of fact if i switch to v-ray here you can see the HDR as a background and it provides also the lightening of the scene but in this way the model is super fast and I can do every change in real time okay here you can see And once you complete uh, to set up your uh, furniture, uh, you can save it, select uh, all and uh, save uh, for your scene, but only for your scene. Uh, it, um, it could be uh, useful uh, in creating um, a, an asset library. Uh, as a matter of fact, this workflow uh, will increase you much and much more your asset your personal asset library obviously at the end we put together the container side and the inner side here's the final images this is the bathroom and the dressing room in this case the inner side uh, where the dresses, the furniture, in the case of the bedroom, the bed was set in the, the basic uh, scene that we see for the living room, we saw for the living room, this is the studio, and uh, when, you, uh, when you do the, the final render, you have to uh, imagine you like a photographer and walking around the, the house and, uh, uh, and shooting some close up and uh, some general view um, I, I think that um, the, the close up are more emotional um, and uh, has a sense of tactile okay this is a um, 3D scan model uh, imported from uh, Sketchfab. I use um, Sketchfab for the 3D scan model and I usually import it with the, the transmuter plugin for uh, Sketchup. This is the kitchen. and uh, a little variation in the material and in the atmosphere so i hope you enjoyed my session and i really hope you can take something to improve your skill with using sketchup and v-ray in your everyday work again many thanks to the chaos team for having me today bye